Hey guys, what's up? My name is Deepank and today I'm going to show you how to make a future bounce track. So, let's go. Before starting the video, I just wanted to tell you that I'll be uploading a new video every Wednesday and a new short every Sunday. So, if you haven't subscribed yet, you can hit the subscribe button and support me. So, let's dive into the video. So, I have this drop which sounds like this. As you guys can see, it sounds very similar to JSK and I have made this project a while ago in 2019. So it's an old project. That's why the mixing sucks. So this is how the leads in this one sounds like. This is a lot different than what I'm making these days. This is the lead number one. This one has a lot of distortion and some equalizing, just some simple stuff. And this is the lead number two. Again, some distortion and it doesn't have that much of high end. So I use this to give uh, the lead a bit more mid frequencies and this is the another one. Again, this also doesn't have too much of highs and this one, this is a simple white noise and this is the last one. This one is pretty crisp. Now let's talk about the bass. This is how the bass sounds like. There is an automation of side chain maybe. So this is the base number one. Just a simple sound. This is bass number two. Another one. And another one. This, this is a kind of growl bass or something like that. I use this one a lot these days. Not a lot, but sometimes I use this one and this one for some sharp attack and a sub as you can see in the midi that there are a lot of note gliding notes like this one these gliding notes are very important to you know give your track more energy and a bouncy feel that's why this genre is known as future bounce now let's talk about the drums the drums are pretty simple some kicks and claps and some white noise I've used some chords which are playing like this. Pretty simple, nothing special. And some fills, small fills. The 
end these reverb leads. And some bass growls. And again some white noise. And in the second part of the drop there are some hi-hats. It sounds like this. Along with this little thing. So basically that's how you can make a really cool future bounce track. And don't try to copy someone else. Be original. That's what I like to do mostly. So see you guys next week with a brand new video. Till then, peace.